what's good y'all it's your boy Ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out what made Smackdown in the 2000s so awesome by none other than wrestling gifts uh just seems like a dope interesting video and I'm looking forward to checking this out going down memory lane man Smackdown in the 2000s not gonna lie to you it was great it was fantastic it was one of those shows where if you didn't have cable like I didn't have cable you know, only a, a select few of my family members had cable. So I would be over there sometimes watching Monday Night Raw and loving it. But if you didn't have cable, you would watch this on regular uh, uh, regular television. And it sometimes, in my opinion, I felt like it was damn near the better show than Raw. Even though Raw was pretty good at the time. It's just the fact that they catered to people with free television. And it was the storylines was just as intense, just as dope, just as epic, bro. Hey, man, I was all for it, bro. Smackdown in the 2000s was fantastic. So we got to check this out to go down memory lane. Appreciate all love and support. Road to 60K, we're almost there. And uh, let's get right into this. In the 2000s, you had to pick a side when it came to many, many things. You mm -hmm. were either Team PlayStation 3 or Team 360. You were either a Kobe fan or a LeBron fan, Crosby or a Vetchkin. Who had the better diss track, Jay-Z or Nas? Mm -hmm. Team Edward or Team J- Wait, 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 wait. No. This is not my Twilight fanfiction channel. Never mind. Scratch that. What the f- and the most important question without Never a doubt that. was were you on Team SmackDown or Team Raw? Back yeah. in the day, as I've said many times before in other videos, SmackDown vs Raw was more than just a video game. This was our wrestling version of Crips vs Bloods. Yep. You had to choose a side. I don't care if you watch both, deep down everyone had a favorite. And the thing is, when I look back at it, I was no doubt, no questions asked about it. Through and through, I was a SmackDown kid. UPN, CW, yep. My Network TV, it didn't matter what channel, they could have put it on the guy damn hallmark channel and i would have been there smackdown watching it every the single truth, friday bro. smackdown in the 2000s was just awesome there was just something so special about smackdown just seeing this logo seeing this stage i get the warm and fuzzy oh, especially man. when smackdown became friday night smackdown when you're older mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is spend friday night inside watching tv yeah, when they moved to friday night it was it was pretty dope i think originally when smackdown originally came up uh i believe it was on upn for for houston uh it was on upn i think it was thursday night i could be wrong on that correct me if i'm right or correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it was originally thursday night smackdown i want to say it originally aired on thursday nights or was it tuesdays i think it used to be tuesdays like it'll be monday night raw then tuesday night smackdown or something like that i'm not sure i can't remember but I know it was it was always something to watch. And you definitely did not want to miss SmackDown because a lot of times they would continue stories from Monday Night Raw on SmackDown. So it was like you definitely wanted to check it out. So, But when they did move it to Fridays, I thought that was the best way to start off the weekend. So get your fix. Friday Night SmackDown. But when you're a kid and it's Friday, it's time for the weekend. There yep. was nothing better than going home and waiting for 8 p.m. and watching yep. SmackDown. There was no better way to start the weekend. SmackDown in the 2000s just felt right. Listen, I watched Raw. I loved Raw. I had fun watching Raw. But if I could only choose one show to watch from back in the day, I will always choose SmackDown. SmackDown and the best true, part was bro. everyone was watching SmackDown. I know for a fact that so many kids grew up just watching SmackDown as their WWE fix because it was on network television. Mm -hmm. I had so many friends that didn't watch Raw because they didn't have cable, so yep. they couldn't. But they never complained because SmackDown was all they ever needed. And that's what worked for SmackDown. Because at the end of the day, it was just as entertaining or even more entertaining at times because everyone could watch it. You didn't have to have cable to watch SmackDown. It was just free television. The stage, the colors, the aesthetic, the roster. It was so chill and such a different vibe than Raw. Raw always felt like the super try-hard, sweaty-ass show, whereas SmackDown was honestly the wrestling we all wanted to see. Mm -hmm. SmackDown was the show where John Cena got his start and became the GOAT. This was where you would see Rey Mysterio jumping out the sky yep. and just doing his thing. There was no way in hell that Rey Mysterio would have ever gotten the same chances he got on SmackDown nope. on Raw. To simply Facts. put it, SmackDown had all the real ones. They had Angle, Rey, 
Eddie, Cena, and then Batista, eventually Booker T, Benoit, the Cruiserweights, mm -hmm. the tag division, and SmackDown yep. was the place where you got The Undertaker. If mm -hmm. you wanted to see the dead man, he was SmackDown all the way, which was a huge draw. When they announced, like, oh, next week on SmackDown, The Undertaker is back. Yo, you best believe that everyone was hyped and we would wait this the entire true. week just to see The Undertaker. Who remember the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-views? I remember, I believe, Armageddon was a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. One of my favorite pay-per-view series was Armageddon, man. Oh, my God. Take me back. Take me back. Was his entrance going to be longer than the match? Of course. But we were still so excited. And even I have to give credit Edge, to none yeah. other than Edge. Edge carried SmackDown so hard you would have thought it was Lita. But when I think back of SmackDown <laughs> in the 2000s, one thing I remember is how the mid card was filled with the most random shit. But it was still amazing. This was the time of the boogeyman. Mm -hmm. The weird ass creep who ate worms and yeah. crawled on the floor bashing a clock on his head. Simon Dean, the personal yeah. trainer. MVP, the guy who thought he was an NBA free agent, Deuce and Domino. The I tag remember team was stuck in the 1950s. They legit had a pirate running around, Paul Burcho. And if that wasn't enough, how about Vito? Vito wrestled in a dress. Yeah. This was his finisher. Oh my god, this is why I don't tell people I'm a wrestling fan. As dumb as some of those were, it was still fun and it was still oh, all good oh, because Jimmy at the same time Wait, hold on. I Pisa forgot and about together. Him. It was still fun and it was Jimmy Wayne Yang. Did y'all remember? <laughs> Jimmy Wayne Yang. Y'all remember him? Jimmy Wayne Yang. Oh my god, how fucking wild was that? <laughs> I forgot about Jimmy Yang Wayne. Uh, with the Confederate flag in the background, his name definitely could not post his own regular television now. <laughs> Still all good because at the same time you had Batista and Rey Mysterio tagging oh. together, Edge cashing in, the ring breaking, yep, or that was cool swishing too. Rey Mysterio's head like a cantaloupe. I remember watching that. I was like, oh my god. I was like, oh no. He's actually killing him. Making every kid traumatized. Yeah. For real. When this happened, I thought Rey was actually dead. I mean, look at him. This was the one time where I really hoped wrestling was fake because I didn't yeah. want my boy Rey Mysterio to be dead. But yeah, man, regardless of people dying, it was a good time. You had everything, and it never felt like a chore to watch. Whether mm -hmm. it was King Booker, King who I Booker. hated. But looking back, this man is a comedic genius. Yeah. You would have rap battles. You would have Teddy Long doing Teddy his Long. thing. Kurt Angle on a wheelchair. Jesse and Festus. Yo, yep. this was the funniest thing ever. They had Festus, a man who was whatever this is, okay? But as soon as the bell rang, he became yep. goaded, just a straight out beast. Mm -hmm. I remember when Shawn Michaels put up on SmackDown to mock Taker, and yo, every time a Raw man put up on SmackDown, it was actually a big deal. And of course, of course, of course, of course, the night that I was depressed after watching SmackDown. It was Jeff Hardy and CM Punk in a cage match mm. where Jeff lost, he had to leave the WWE, and he lost. So I spent the rest of the night on my PSP listening to Linkin Park in the end. I really <laughs> thought I was never gonna see this man again. You had Edge marrying Vicky yeah, Guerrero just for Triple H to show everyone that he cheated on her with the wedding planner. Mm -hmm. and off the top of my head, there are so many random matches I remember. SmackDown was just the wave. It was kind of like this. Raw was the show that the company made which they did everything they wanted, but they kind of left SmackDown do its own thing and kind of mm -hmm. just use that to give. And that's kind of what it was. I don't think they had planned on SmackDown to be as good as it was. So they, you know, they, they always felt like Raw was the A show, but a lot of consumers would be different, like different on that opinion. I know a lot of people were like, nah, well, I mean, we don't have cable, so we can only watch SmackDown. And we've been enjoying it, you know, and if we do get to see Raw, it's cool, but SmackDown is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So give what the fans wanted. So SmackDown in that sense was always just fun. Except when JBL was the champion. Uh, uh that <laughs> was kinda rough. But yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. When this man went hunting for illegal immigrants at oh the Mexican God, border. Bro. That is top tier, one of the funniest segments this in wrestling history. Cannot, this was something straight out of the South Park episode. Now. It was literally Cartman at the Mexican border. SmackDown was just a show where you spent your Fridays watching. Your mm -hmm. family probably sat with you and watched it, even epic, though half of them probably moment, hated wrestling. Your apart. friends probably came over after playing outside and you just all enjoyed it. So much talent, so many great matches. Every week there would be a fire match or a segment, but SmackDown was the wrestling show, whereas Raw was the entertainment show. Mm -hmm. SmackDown was the show where you saw 
by your new favorite wrestler slowly becomes somebody. It was the show where the WWE sent their wrestlers that they thought were kind of on the B tier to yep. go do their thing, but they were still so awesome that yep. in my eyes, they were the A tier. At the end of same man, that's what happened, bro. Same with Booker T. He was never considered the A tier guy. He goes to SmackDown and becomes an A tier guy, A tier A tier heel. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I enjoyed it, man. I I enjoyed it. You know, they would not have thrived and made it as far just on Raw. They needed a new show, and them branching out, creating SmackDown was the best thing they could have ever done for a lot of people's wrestling careers. The day, as much as I loved Raw, it always felt so extra and too much. Yeah, it was still fun, but SmackDown was the sweet spot. When I think of 2000s wrestling, I think of SmackDown. My fondest memories are me sitting there with my mom on Friday nights watching SmackDown. Batista versus Taker in the cage, mm -hmm. Ring Mysterio just doing his thing. Even the 08 to 09 era was a fun time. Obviously, the WWE in the 2000s, I loved it. My childhood, blah, 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 you've heard it all before. But when you really dig deep, SmackDown, like I said, SmackDown was the wave. SmackDown is a large part of the reason why it was so special to us in the first place. Yep. Friday nights, 8 p.m. on the CW, I was hype. Just take me back. In the comments below, let me know your all-time favorite SmackDown moment from the 2000s. And before I leave, I think it's time to hit you with the greatest theme song of all time. Biscuits and gravy! <laughs> But yeah, man, SmackDown was great, man. I, I fucking love, I miss that era of SmackDown. Even though right now, SmackDown is, in my opinion, it's it's a, it's the A show. It's the A show right now. SmackDown is much more enjoyable to watch. It's a lot more entertaining to watch for me personally. Obviously, they got Roman Reigns, so that's a good thing. But SmackDown, is, is they're holding it down. They're definitely the A show, in my opinion. So, comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys, which did you guys prefer? Did you guys prefer, and we're talking about the people that grew up in this era. Uh, did you guys prefer SmackDown over Raw in the 2000s? Or did you guys prefer Raw over SmackDown? Why and why not? You know what I'm saying? These are for only my fans that actually grew up in that time period of watching it on television, comparing it to watching Raw on cable network television so comment down below let me know which guy what did you guys prefer smackdown in the 2000s or raw in the uh uh early 2000s i would like to get your thoughts and opinions on that appreciate all love support road to 6k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all on the next one peace